Hey, Hockey Town. I'm joined by Jonathan Bergen for Coffee with Carly, presented by Tim Hortons. We're going to get to know Bergie a little bit more. Yeah. So you're from Inchipping, Sweden. Yes. Can you tell me a little bit about that town and what it was like growing up? Uh, it's a small little town, like um, 40 minutes from Stockholm. It was good. It's, uh, you can't do too much, except <laughs> like playing hockey and in some way playing football, or soccer. Is it kind of like a rite of passage? when you're from that area that you get into hockey young? Uh, like I have two, two big brothers, okay. so both played hockey when I was little. So uh, yeah, I think I started playing hockey because of them and my dad played hockey too. So uh, we were a big hockey family. Let's talk a little bit about hockey now, your career. What was it like getting that call up to play with the Red Wings and then being able to produce at the rate that you have? Yeah, it was extra fun. It was. Uh, Ben, the coach in the Griffins, that told me. So he took me in uh, at their room after a game we lost. So I thought he would like scream at me and stuff <laughs> and stuff. So, but uh, so I'm kind of nervous when I'm walking mm -hmm. in. But then he told me like, yeah, you're going up and just have fun and work hard. So it was an amazing feeling. It didn't take long for you to record your first uh, NHL assist. Yeah. On a, a goal by Joe Valeno. What was that play like? I mean, did you even realize it or were you just kind of in the mix of the game? Yeah, at that time I just focused on the game, so I didn't uh, realize that until like after, mm -hmm. like at the band show. It was unreal feeling and the night that it happened so fast too. And then your first NHL goal. Yeah. I mean, that has to be a moment where you kind of take yourself out of the game and you're like, wow, this is something that you've worked for. Yeah, of course, that was a uh, like unreal uh, memory mm -hmm. for sure. But when you play the game, it's like you just focus to help the team win. So, but uh, for sure, I will remember that goal for, for a long time. So let's talk a little bit more about the team. When Magnus Helberg came here, you knew him already. You had played with him on the national team. You guys have a good relationship. Yeah, he's like the most social guy I've met, so uh, <laughs> it's not hard to uh, get to know him and have fun with him. You had said that you'd been watching your dog sitting for Helberg's dog. You know, in that same video, you mentioned that you didn't know why he was asking you to watch his dog because you had previously lost your dog. Yeah. Can you tell us that story? <laughs> <laughs> Clear up the air? Yeah, it was like, I think two, year, two, two summers ago. <laughs> I was home uh, at my mom's house with my dog and I was home alone. Uh, I, I never told the, my mom this, but <laughs> I told her that I was uh, going for bathroom and uh, like five minutes and uh, when I'm walking out the dog was gone. But uh, the truth is I fall asleep for maybe one hour or so. And then when I wake up I was like, Charlie, Charlie, and I couldn't find her. <laughs> and she was gone like five, six hours. It ends good, but it's like it's a funny story now. <laughs> yeah, now it's funny yeah. because Charlie's home safe. Yeah. So there is a story when you were going to the Griffins that you and your girlfriend accidentally drove to the wrong Grand Rapids. Yep. There's one in Ohio that you guys went to instead of the one in Michigan. Yep. What happened there? Uh, it was fun. Like uh, it was like first day. Uh, couple of days I was in the US, so I didn't have like US internet, like on oh, my okay. phone. So I just uh, ride in uh, the, the Grand Rapids. Mm -hmm. It was fun because my girlfriend like, can you not write in the name of the rink, like Van Andel? But I was like, ah, we take it, we take it later. So, but everyone told me like, yeah, it's like two, about two hours drive. So, and uh, yeah, so I took Grand Rapids and I put it in and we drive and drive and drive and when we started to be closer, my girlfriend was like, do you think this is right? I was like, yeah, yeah. But then when we come, it was like like a festival in that town. Okay. So it was a lot of people. Mm -hmm. But then I was like, this must be wrong. <laughs> so I like type in Grand Rapids again. <laughs> yeah. And then it was like three hours. I was like, no, <laughs> no, no, no. But then it's like something happened on the phone. So I was like, oh. Because my girlfriend like, what happened? I was like, no, I was thinking we would drive wrong, but it's okay. Yeah, you didn't then, want to tell her. No, then I type in again, and it's like three hours. Like, Dilla, like, it's it's wrong, you remember? It's so you admitted it. You're like, okay, I yeah. Remember. But it's fun. Like this year, early, early in the season, we were in Grand Rapids and took a Uber, and we like talked to the Uber guy, and he was like, yeah, yeah, it was. Um, Two, two guys in Grand Rapids last season that took wrong Grand Rapids. <laughs> like, how can they do that? 
and me and my girlfriend like <laughs> sitting in the back looking at each other like, uh. yeah, that was we, us. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, yeah, I could, I could imagine that happening. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I looked on your Instagram and I have a couple pictures that I want to ask you about. Nothing embarrassing. Okay. I do want to ask you about this picture. It looks like, were you at a horse racing track? Oh, yeah. Okay, that video made me laugh out loud, I'm not going to lie. Yeah. You were, you didn't even look like a real person sitting in the back of the... I was so scared. <laughs> you were? <laughs> yeah. Wait, so what, walk me through that experience. Uh, it was fun. It's, um... Jimmy Eriksson, um, Jonathan Eriksson's big brother. Yeah. So he would call me and like, yeah, we have like horse riding or something yeah. in Skellefteå. It's like hockey players from the town that uh, it's like racing against each other. Okay. So is it only hockey players racing against each other with yeah. their horses? Oh, very cool. Okay. Yeah. I was so so scared. You're not even moving. You look, you look yeah, so but it was so fun because they were like, yeah, you should keep Wait, so your... you're in the front or the back? You're in the front, right? Yeah, I'm in front. <laughs> you look like a mannequin. Yeah, but like... they were, <laughs> told me, like, keep your mouth closed because, like... Oh, kicks things up. Yeah, and, like, I think the poop and stuff, too. When it... <laughs> yeah, so I, I, was, I was, didn't think about it, and I get everything, like, in my mouth. I was... <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 they told you to keep your mouth shut? Yeah. Because they'll poop while they're running? Yeah, and like everything comes, uh, yeah. <laughs> and did you keep it shut? No. You go, did you get poop in your mouth? Maybe a little bit. <laughs> 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 Don't tell it to my girlfriend. <laughs> Yeah, like, I mean, like <laughs> not like a big, running? like uh, small, like <laughs> like particles yeah. or like actual poop. I, I don't know. I think it was like <laughs> it all happened uh, so fast. Yeah. I'm a <laughs> so was that the first and last time you did that? Uh, yeah. Or would you go back? Uh, I think. Uh, <laughs> I think that would be the first and last time I do that. <laughs> it looks like you and Victor Bratstrom were doing some touristy fun things in Toronto. Yeah. <laughs> is that a green screen? Uh, yeah, it was. So you guys were at the CN Towers? Yeah, the elevator up was, it was fun because we were standing like with some kids that, like the elevator was, you can see like the floor, oh. so you can see down. Yeah. And. Uh, the kid like started to jumping and stuff, and Brad was so afraid. Like, was he afraid of heights at all? <laughs> yeah, I think so. So he was, I think, closely Brad's like, like hit the kid. Off, yeah. I have to ask about this, because I feel like you got a lot of heat for this one. As you and Raymond, you guys were playing basketball, and you're wearing a Bulls jersey. Yeah. Now it's a Michael Jordan jersey, so you really can't go wrong. But people came for you. Yeah, for a I Bulls get a lot jersey. of DMs, and that I get some bad words. So I didn't know that was so big a uh, thing. I just remember the show, like the last, last dance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I watched that. After that, I would like wanted a MEA jersey. But yeah. But Lucas, Lucas got the, got the. Yeah, he took the, the safe, safe shots. <laughs> <laughs> you guys play pickup quite a bit basketball. Uh, yeah, we did it when we had some free time. Yeah. But I'm so bad at it. Last but not least, we've got um, Jonathan Santa Claus. Is that yeah. you? Yeah, that's me. I love to be the Santa. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah. For your family? Yep. Do you have younger si or younger cousins or family members? Uh, or do you like to dress up like this for the adults? <laughs> I just like to dress up. <laughs> we don't have any like young, but I was told my family, like, I, I want, want to be the Santa, so just <laughs> pretend I'm the Santa. If you ever see Santa Claus at the mall, it might Maybe be, can be me. <laughs> Jonathan, thank you so much for taking the time to join me for Coffee with Kyle, because I'm Yeah, thank you. Fun to be here.